Welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video because today we're going to be making a teleportation system. This series is very close to coming to an end so I really hope you can join while we're still at it. So make sure you go down there, subscribe, hit that like button and make sure notification bells are on so you're always updated when I make new videos. And last but not least, I really appreciate you guys for 200 subscribers. You don't know how much it means to me. I'm really grateful and thank you so much. We've come so far along this journey of the horror game series. And eventually, we can stop it and we can move on to something else. But guys, I'm sure you guys are enjoying it, as I can see in the comments. So guys, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So guys, so now we're in Roblox Studio, we can now begin the process. So what we can do is we can go up to here and we can press on a part. Just that, it should spawn a part in just like this. And then we need to extend it just a little bit. So what you're aiming for is a door kind of shape. So you want to get that kind of thickness and thin. If you want to get that thickness and that width. All right, so once you have something looking a bit like a door, like, I don't know. So what you could do to round it up a little bit, I guess, so just get a go to rig builder or block build rig it should be in the description below if you do not have it insert a block rig and compare it to the size of this door so we can just make that a little bit shorter or actually let's just keep it like that all right perfect so now what we can do is we can just put it against this wall just like that perfect and that's our door right there all right so once you've got something looking a bit like a door we can now go ahead and customize this a little bit so i'm just gonna make the color a nice gray oh sorry a dark brown more like and then we can change the material to wood planks or actually we'll change it just to wood just like that this is just a rough door not exactly accurate so what this is going to help us with is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting our part right there and then what we can do once we've walked through that part it's going to teleport us to a maze that we're going to make later so now what we can do is what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to home i'm going to insert another part just like this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to scale this just like this make it extremely thin the thinnest you can go make it the thinnest you can go to model which is up here and go to move and make sure you turn that on and make sure the studs is 0 0.01 that way um, you can just move it like this you can scale it to, to as thin as you like and when you move it you can like place it whatever you want just like that so that's how you do it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put a surface gui on it so just click on the white plus button on the part so a surface gui so now what we want to do is we actually want to put this on i'm not sure where is it we want to put this somewhere on the why don't we do this facing us so let me do it right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a text label just like that uh clearly do the right do bottom or back there we go it appears just like that so now what we can do is we can now edit this a little bit so let me just go to the text properties change this to do not enter just like that perfect and now what we can do is we can make the background invisible, change the font of it, something like that, I like that. And then we can make sure text is scaled and make sure this actual part is invisible. Just like that, it should look something a bit like that. So once you have that, you can now go this, go ahead and drag it into the room. Rotate it a bit so it fits on the door perfectly. Perfect. And there we go. We can place it just there. <laughs> just like that. It's not amazing. I know. Well, actually, what I want to do is I'm going to change the text color. So I'm going to change it to white. Cool. So now we've got that, we can actually make the teleport pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to home. We're going to insert a part. And we're going to also scale this and make it thin as well. Or you can make it thin, thick. I don't really care either way. Um, and then we're just going to go like that. So pretty much this is what the player's going to walk into. And this is when we're going to teleport. So just put this against the door. Make sure can collide is false and can touch. Make sure anchor is on, of course, always. 
and then also make sure the transparency is one just like that and now we can call this Tera port pad one just like that and now what we can do is we can duplicate this and I don't know what's done there but probably not teleport pad it's a bit weird so once we have it duplicated we can actually call this teleport pad pad 2 and now we can move this to where we actually want to teleport so for me it's going to be over here and now let's move this out of the way so now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the nays so i'm not actually going to make one you can make one yourself but i'm going to use one from the toolbox just touch up nays should have come up with something like there i don't know we'll take this one oh why have i perfect so we've got our maze just like this and now what we want to do is we want to move this part into the maze just like that boom scale it down actually a bit like that and then drag it up in the air perfecto now we are done with all of the stuff to do with that to make it invisible and now we can go on to the fun part which is the scripting perfect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the teleport pad one and we're gonna click on it just like that and we are going to insert a script a local script i'm not too sure uh i think it's a script i can't so if we're gonna be if we're gonna be making this for the whole server then it's gonna be a normal script just like that perfect so to insert the script what we can do is we can go to the teleport pad one insert a script just like that and now we can start coding perfect so what i'm going to do i'm going to write local pad 2 is equal to game dot what all right guys so i finally finished off with the script and i think we are now done so just make sure everything's anchored and done properly so let me just go over here yep it's all anchored so now what we can do is we can go ahead and test it so just press play in the top right here and let's see Oh yeah, and one more thing guys, to add a bit of scare to it, what we're going to do is, we're actually going to add some fog. So go to your lighting, and we can just scroll down here, and make sure the fog colour is set to 40, 35, just like that, and the fog start set to 1. Perfect, so as you can see, when we walk around, it should be like a little hole following us, did not say it. <laughs> right, so just go ahead and press play and see what happens. So as you can see, we've spawned in the game now. The fog looks quite, quite cool. I really like it. Um, but we can add some effects to it later. So let's just find the key for the door. Let's go over that. And then let's unlock the door. And as you can see, that looks quite cool, I must say. And now what we need to do is we need to find the other key for this door. So let's try and do that. Let's grab this key, key two. And let's walk into this. As you can see it opens perfect and now let's go over to here and see if the teleport works i'm just gonna grab this key right here just like that i'm gonna open this door walk through with our flashlight of course and now let's walk on the pad and there we go, it's finally working. And as you can see, I just teleported to the mate. Oh, that's weird. As you can see, I just teleported to the mate and it's, everything is all okay and working, which is perfect. So guys, thank you so much for watching that tutorial. Definitely took a long time for me to figure out as well. I did make some mistakes as well. And guys, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. This could be the last episode before I leave for summer, but you never know, you may get another one if I'm feeling like it, but most likely you will, so don't worry. Um, and guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.